Well, new at 430 with the 2024 presidential election year right around the corner. The focus today inside a Clark County courtroom was the 2020 election. According to Nevada's attorney general, six Republican leaders put forth fraudulent documents in 2020 that said former President Donald Trump won Nevada. Those six accused fake electors appeared in court today and our Brian Horwath has a story. Less than a day after receiving public support from former President Donald Trump, Michael McDonald, chair of the Nevada Republican Party, appeared virtually in a Clark County courtroom. Nevada GOP chairman Michael McDonald, he's a fantastic man. During a campaign speech in Reno Sunday, Donald Trump had nice words to say about Michael McDonald on the eve of McDonald's arraignment in a Las Vegas courtroom. Page five, State of Nevada versus Michael McDonald. McDonald and five other alleged co-conspirators entered identical pleas. Not guilty. Not guilty, Your Honor. While appearing virtually before 8th District Court Judge Mary K. Holtus. As for charges set forth in the indictment, how do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The six are charged with offering a false instrument for filing and uttering a forged instrument, both felonies. Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford, who was in the courtroom Monday, announced the charges last week. We've been conducting this investigation for years to gather as many facts and as much evidence necessary to pursue justice. Along with McDonald, Clark County GOP Chair Jesse Law was also charged. The others are Nevada GOP Vice Chairs James D. Graffenreid and Derward Hindle, and Douglas County Republicans Sean Meehan and Eileen Rice. The defendants are accused of falsely stating to Congress that Trump had won Nevada in 2020. The results clearly showed that Joe Biden carried the state. Political analyst Steve Sebelius recently weighed in on the charges. They are in jeopardy. This is this is a, you know a, a serious crime. One of the uh, uh, charges is a Category C felony. That's a that's a serious crime that carries jail time if they're convicted. McDonald's lawyer, Las Vegas attorney Richard Wright, who may also represent other defendants, did not take questions following the arraignment. McDonald and the five other defendants are due back in court on March 4th. Reporting from the Regional Justice Center, I'm Brian Horwath.